Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Simona Halep's press conference. Could I please ask you to raise your hand if you have a question, and we'll take questions in English first, please. What did you think it was going to be like to be a major champion, and what has been the reality? No, the same. I didn't expect uh, a big change. Of course, inside of myself, uh, it's a change because um, I'm really happy that I was able to to break that barrier. So um, life is the same. <laughs> Everybody is the same. Um, I'm the same. I have to start again to play tournaments. Uh, I'm here ready to to go ahead and I'm really looking forward to start it. I don't know how it's going to be this tournament, but I uh, I smile a lot. I feel happy and I'm happy to be back on court. You said there was a change inside of you though. What was that change? Well, the pressure is off. Um, the dream uh, came true. So um, I don't um, stress myself anymore with uh, that Grand Slam thing. Uh, it's nice to be in this position, but, um, you know, gives me just um, uh, happy moments, uh, nothing else. Um, I was dreaming for this. I did it. And now um, I have already set another goal. The new goal, um, actually, it's about the Olympics. Uh, I would love to have an Olympic medal. So my focus is on that. After uh, Paris, when you're talking to Darren, I mean, is the, is, the, is the discussion, hey, enjoy it, take all the time you need to enjoy it? Is it, OK, but we have to get back to work? Uh, you know, what, how do you, what has that discussion been like with the coach? And what's the mentality then here? He didn't say take. Uh, whatever you want like the period was very limited <laughs> I had only 10 days <laughs> to relax and uh, I relaxed because I didn't play tennis uh, I needed a break but I knew that um, I have actually to keep myself together for this uh, Grand Slam it's a important tournament and uh, I have to be focused on it uh, but after this tournament I will have a big holiday I really need it so the conversation was the same he was really proud of what I did he was really proud that uh, I could change myself, I could improve in my attitude and all these things. Uh, and then he just said that, back to work. Uh, so how was the preparation for this tournament was going and uh, uh, how much do you know about your first round opponent? I slept a lot <laughs> <laughs> when I had uh, those two weeks uh, off. Um, I came here uh, actually eight days ago I uh, practiced on grass. I feel um, okay. I feel ready. I didn't have an official match yet, but uh, it, it happens when you go uh, till the end to French Open. Um, I know that she's uh, my opponent is very fast. Uh, is playing um, flat, so um, I need just to be strong on my legs to be ready for a fight. It's gonna be a big battle. You were hitting with Leighton for a little bit. What? What does his ball feel like these days? I mean, what, is, what would it feel like hitting with the back and forth? Well, I didn't play with him when he used to play, but the ball is really strong and uh, the back end is amazing, uh, flat and uh, good depth. So uh, it was great to have uh, practice with him. He gave me some um, good uh, thoughts. Um, and to practice with a Grand Slam champion is always nice, gives you confidence, gives you that uh, the feeling that uh, if you are on court with these people you deserve and you like you are with them there so i felt good just on that do you feel like you are part of a different club now that you have a grand slam champion not really but uh, of course uh, means a lot a lot for me um, i was actually working for this every day since i started to play professional tennis um, as I said, uh, inside myself, yeah, it's a big change, but outside is the same. What are some of the unusual or specific uh, superstitions or routines that you have before a match? Well, um, I have the routine that every every time before the match I do it. I have also my superstitions, but I'm never I never talk about them. So I'm not gonna tell you the superstitions. But uh, the routine is the same: uh, practice, uh, shower in the same um, spot, uh, changing the clothes in the same spot in the locker room, um, making my hair uh, also 
never looks good on court, but uh, I try. I try my best every time. Uh, normal things, nothing special. Normal uh, routine every day. How about the music that you listen to, if anything, on your way onto the court? No, I didn't listen in the last uh, 12 months, I think. Uh, I stopped doing that and I feel uh, more relaxed. I feel uh, more concentrated on my game and uh, I prefer to keep that. So no music anymore. Okay, okay. So you said nothing changed outside of Europe, but uh, when you went back to your home country after the Roland Garros, uh, I saw the video, huge celebration. So could you talk about that experience? Yeah, actually, it was one of my best moments um, to see over 20,000 people coming out to see me and to see the trophy. It was amazing. Um, actually, I had tears in my eyes uh, seeing, uh, actually receiving the love from the people. It's really nice to see that uh, those people were appreciating my uh, my work and my result. Uh, I think it was a dream for them also to, to have a um, tennis player winning a Grand Slam again after 40 years. So it was an amazing moment and uh, I really thank them for doing that. Uh, it was special and uh, I took a lot of energy from them. And off of that, because that was my question. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> she read your mind. She had my question. But um, in terms of, of balancing, I know that for, to be a top athlete from a smaller country, it's different than maybe being a top athlete from a bigger country. For sure. And I know that for you in Romania, it's very specific. And sometimes that can be a burden for some players uh, and pressure and things like that. And sometimes it can, you know, be a great thing. How have you learned to manage that through your career? I don't believe that now is going to be a bigger pressure than before because <laughs> before it was huge pressure and everyone was talking that uh, I'm not able to win a Grand Slam because uh, I'm weak mentally. But now I did it and uh, I feel like uh, the people uh, realize that if you don't give up and if you work, keep working on um, what you have less good, uh, you can uh, be able to realize your dream. So um, now I feel that everybody is more relaxed. Of course, uh, I have... Um, more uh, questions about uh, autographs, pictures. It's uh, a little bit crazy in my country, but I enjoy it. And uh, I try to manage it as good as possible. Uh, I'm used to it because last year was the same when I touched the number one, but now I feel it bigger and I feel it nicer. Last English question. Do you mind a, a young Romanian girl, Ruth, qualified for... Ruse, yes. Ruse, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. And, and she said that she wants to be number one like you. There are a lot of female Romanians right now in the top 100 as well. Yeah, we are six, I think. Yeah, a lot. Um, yeah. Do you feel influential? Do you feel like people look to you? I feel like uh, they were more motivated and uh, they believed more that it's possible because I was able to do these things and, uh, of course, everyone uh, can do it. So um, uh, I just uh, feel that um, they have more confidence now to to be able to dream to achieve more things and bigger things. And I'm happy if it's like this, and it's, uh, I'm happy that uh, they take it like a positive and they work harder. We will now take questions in Romanian, please. Thank you. Is there any, any, I don't any believe. Questions in Romanian? No, in Romanian. No. Yeah. I didn't think there was, thought I'd better check. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just thought I'd